Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a PhD student working with the uh, NZAVS and I'm talking about some research that I did earlier this year with uh, Chris Sibley and some researchers from the University of Kent. So we were looking at the relationship between narcissism and self-esteem. Uh, so these are two quite related concepts. Uh, if we think about someone who is a narcissist and someone who has high self-esteem, they're both going to have a really positive view of themselves. Uh, they're both going to be quite sociable and outgoing, and they'll both be good leaders. However, uh, the self-esteem is a really realistic view of yourself, whereas narcissism is unrealistic and it's quite over the top. So because it's so over the top, it needs more support. So narcissistic people tend to feel superior to others, uh, perhaps put them down, and they need a lot of praise to keep that unrealistic self-view going. So uh, probably a lot of us know someone who we could describe as a, as a narcissist, uh, but what we, do, what we don't necessarily know is whether or not people act like that, act really superior because they genuinely really, really like themselves that much, or is it because they're trying to cover up some kind of deep insecurity? So we're using a new technique in this area called latent profile analysis. So some research suggests that there can be narcissists who do have high self-esteem, and at the same time, there could be narcissists who have low self-esteem. So using this technique, we can explore all the different groups and find all the different combinations of people with a high self-esteem, low narcissism, and so on. So we found five different groups. Uh, the most interesting group it was about 9% of the sample. Uh, these people had really high levels of psychological entitlement, which was our measure of narcissism. And they also had high levels of self-esteem. And interestingly, we didn't find a group uh, of narcissists with low self-esteem. So while some previous research suggests that they should both be there, we found that all narcissists really do like themselves. We analysed data from the NZAVS. Uh, we used the Time 1 sample from 2009, and we had over 6,000 participants. We also found a group uh, in the sample who had high self-esteem, but no narcissism. Um, and this was the largest group in the sample. So this shows that the majority of the people in our sample, about 40%, uh, had a really healthy, positive view of themselves, but weren't likely to treat other people poorly. And uh, we also found a group that had very low self-esteem and very low entitlement. Uh, only about 2% of the population, but this indicated that they had a really negative view of themselves. Uh, and this could be a group that is at risk of uh, mental illness or psychological distress. So quite an important group. So the NZAVS sample is really representative of the population. So when we say 9% of people are narcissists or 40% of people have really healthy well-being, uh, we can say the same thing about the New Zealand population as a whole. So in New Zealand, uh, about 1 in 10 of people could be called a narcissist. This research answers a really fundamental question about the relationship between self-esteem and narcissism using a new technique that hasn't been used before in the international research. There's been a lot of talk about narcissism and entitlement recently, um, especially with you know, the advent of social media, uh, the generation me or millennials growing up. And what we can see is in New Zealand, less than one in 10 of people show any signs of entitlement at all. Um, so while it could be increasing over time, at this point, we're not really concerned uh, about narcissism levels in New Zealand. So the next really big question is, is narcissism getting worse over time? Uh, and we're really excited to use the next waves of the NZAVS uh, to track this across the years. Uh, a big thank you to all our participants who take part in the NZAVS because it lets us um, answer these really important questions. And so what we're looking for in our future research is to see whether that 9% of narcissists uh, is increasing across the different waves of the NZAVS.